All right, everyone, we are two days out of Hurricane Lee hitting, and we are under severe thunderstorm watches, and look at the rain coming. Kind of hoping this wasn't going to happen, but oh well. Waves. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, everybody, here we are again on September 14th. And we've got severe weather coming through, just severe thunderstorms. Right now you're seeing lots of rain and wind. And every once in a while there's a crack of thunder as well. So we'll keep everybody posted. All right, everybody, there's the birthday boy. Say hi, birthday boy. Oh, I didn't realize I was aiming that man. Yep, say hi, birthday boy. Hi. So he and I just made some awesome memories while we made his cake. Yes, we did not film it, but that's okay, right? I'm staring at you mostly because of the puns you made. I made lots of puns. I was very selfish and I made uh, some excellent puns. I'm out of here! <laughs> but we made his cake. So there it is, all ready to go in the oven. So we're going to put that in the oven and then we're going to take it out and put it in the, thank you, uh, fridge for the night and we will decorate come tomorrow morning. Watermelon. <laughs> See you all there. All right, everyone, it is September 15th at about noon. We're coming back from our mail walk and we're at the top of the hill by the church. So if you all have been here before, you've seen, there's my church that I always love taking pictures of. And you'll see, this is what it looks like just before the hurricane comes. So Hurricane Lee is due to hit us tomorrow morning. And you can see off in the distance, we have some clouds. Lots of chirping bugs, sunshine, and very little wind. Be back with you all in a little bit. Okay, everyone, so since you saw, we baked the cake last night. There it is. Yeah. The cake. They're having fun with our. <laughs> you wonder what they're doing? No, no. They I'm are doing. playing with our decorators. All right, so we have our handy dandy little icing spoon, or well, not spoon, knife. Spoon. Yes, spoon. Yeah. There's that. It's a spoon. Do that. Happy birthday, Alex? Yes. Okay. And there you guys have it. Yay! All ready to go. All ready and raring to go for his birthday. So. We will be back with everybody later. Yep. All right, everyone, to let everybody know how prepared we are for this storm. You see, we've got multiple bo big bottles of water like this already stored. I just pulled two out to show you guys. We've got multiples of those, plus every other bottle in this house that I could fill has been filled. As you see, we've got lots of our little votive candles and plenty of matches. So that will come in handy as well, so that we can uh, see if there is no power. And then over here you see I also have all my cans of tuna ready to go, so that we're ready for our power outage as well. Oh hey everybody, you're probably wondering why you saw tuna cans in the previous clip. Well here, this is a, an easy hack for during a power outage, especially if you don't have a lot of candle holders, which in this house we are lacking some. So what you do is you keep all of your tins from tuna, wash them out, all of that sort of stuff, and then you have your tin and it makes a perfect candle holder. Because as you can see, you can stick the candle inside there like a votive or uh, any of the other kind of candles you have that you know would fit in there nicely. And you can light that and it's safe. It won't, it'll, it'll the metal will heat up but it won't burn anything around. So, and it keeps the candle from knocking over as well. So you're safe during a power outage to have some candles lit. Now let's get back to it. Because as you see, they are perfect for putting a little votive inside of each of them and keeping them safe during a power outage. So we have that. And then down here, you guys can see, we have our camping stove right there, all ready to go. We have the propane as well and all of our treble lights are charged. Plus we have the backup solar outside, so we are storm ready. I 
Okay, everybody, so as you see, we has a birthday boy out. He's got mommy and daddy's gift in front of him. So, all right, Alex, go for it. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works. <laughs> hey, you're not gonna find the rat out of the tear. It's an after cut open. I was just gonna say, I didn't grab any scissors, did we? No, I'll grab scissors. It's a vacuum seal. Hang on, Belle, we'll get you some scissors. What do you think it is? Yeah. Kind of what, Be what Bella got for her birthday, isn't it? Yes. Okay, hang on, there's the scissors. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Yep, okay. Oh, hang on a second, everybody. Okay, after a couple of moments of uh, technical difficulty. Mine. <laughs> yeah, it's a rabbit, like your blue one, your little blue bunny. Isn't it cool? Okay, everybody sees he likes it. Can you show it to the camera so I show everybody at home what it looks like? It's a body pillow type cuddler that's very similar to what Bella got for her birthday. That's what he asked for. And Alex likes bunnies. And he's got this little tiny blue bunny that he used to carry everywhere when he was younger, so. We still have a rabbit. This little guy. There we go, there's Bunny. He has had bunnies since he was younger. He got that for Easter at one point. So. <laughs> okay, now on to Bella's book gift. <laughs> so Bella's turn. <laughs> It's a very tiny frog plushy keychain. Oh, ben. So that bag shouldn't matter much, so you can just kind of tear into it. Ah. Maybe tear into it? Okay, let me try. Oh, I got it. Oh. Put the nope. finger under. <laughs> so we'll have Big Sis do it. Ah, yay, she got into it for him. <laughs> There you go. Oh, oh, he fell. Frog. All right, show everybody. Frog. Oh, he's a frog. Just want to aim at the camera. There we go. Yep. The original frog keychain that I wanted to get him was out of stock, so we couldn't really get it. So we went with this one instead, and it's cute. Okay, next, there's something else in there. I don't know. Careful with it. Card. Ooh, I'm yes. Better to edit. Ooh, very pretty That's card. Reading. <sighs> Happy birthday. She had to write go and write more than me. No promises. <laughs> well, anyways, the, you're the best brother in the world. I really appreciate everything. Everything. I appreciate everything that you have done for me. And I wish I could say how about I As she walks away. Yeah, she's putting her stuff away, but look, show the card to everybody in front of it. I hope you like my gifts. <laughs> that was on the back. <laughs> oh my goodness, she even wrote on the back of it. I did. I wrote that on the back. I, I saw that as soon as I turned it around. Okay, there's something else in the back, so be careful with this next thing. Yes. Heart. Green and blue. Alright, show everybody. I actually ran out of green, but I was painting the sides, so if you look at the sides, it's like green. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Half green, half blue. <laughs> but that's all made out of Lego, everyone. She made a statue for him out of Lego and then painted it, so. Yeah, and I asked him to work for So there you go, everybody. Yes, that's our birthday boy for ya. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alex. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> oh, I thought Daddy was going to do it. <laughs> In this household, when we can't find the candles, we use it just a lighter. More? So there you guys have it. How we spent our birthday with Alex. He loved his gifts and everything so I figured we'll wrap this up by coming outside and showing you guys that right now we are 7.30 on September 15th. About 24 hours out from having Lee. 
you guys can see. The sky is a little cloudy. It's getting darker because, well, it's nighttime, so but you can see the clouds a little bit that way. And if I turn this way, there you go, there's another direction. So yeah, we're uh, calm before the storm, really, and uh, it has been downgraded a little bit, so it's not going to be as strong. Um, I think they're calling for winds of 100 kilometers max right now where we are, and we're used to that. We live on the Tantramar Marsh, so we're used to that, you know, 70, 80 gusts, 90 gusts. There. We get that a lot here. But uh, yeah, right now we just had the, the calm of the storm, or just before the storm, so... Hopefully we'll be able to catch up with you guys all and keep you all informed. Uh, but if we do happen to lose power, we will get we, see, we will let you guys know as soon as we can how we are doing and everything like that. We appreciate all the love and the support that everybody has reached out and touched uh, uh, touch bases with us to uh, see to make sure we are prepared and ready to go. And yeah, so we hope everybody has an awesome weekend. Those who are going to be affected by the storm, we hope that you do stay safe. And we'll see everybody in the next one. We love you all. Bye. Okay, you know what? Bye-bye. Can you just take that off? Yeah, it's just, it's not... Not being useful. No, it's not being useful. Hi. Hi.